Hello everyone, welcome back to our Coding Nutrition Core Tutorials. As part of our user management module, now I am going to discuss about registration form with the activation link. In the early session, we created registration form and login forms designs only. Now my forms looks somewhat smaller. Let me add one class to this extra. Now here I have Excel 6, right? Let me add this as Excel 3. I'm changing this as a Excel 6. Now just refresh your registration form and now the form is somewhat bigger. Now form is ready. Now we need to validate the form of that we have to collect the form data of that we have to save the data into database and we have to send an activation link to the registered user let us see them how it is going to be happen go to your controller this is the controller just i am rendering the view here so now we have to define the validation rules for all the form fields what are the form fields we have username email pass cpass and mobile guys i already defined a set of validation rules let me copy this this is the rules i defined there and go to your controller and just add the rules here but the validation rules should be applied once the form is submitted so let us write small condition here if this of request by using this request object we can check whether the form is submitted or not request in this there is a method called get method if the form method equal to equal to post if the form is submitted so then we have to apply the validation rules now i am going to add the validation rules here so we have the group of rules we already discussed about the validation in the early sessions if you don't know how to validate please check the validation rules there we will we guide you very clearly how to apply validation rules on the form fields so this is the the key is the name of the input field exactly what are the names you have in the input box names this is name email pass that the same you have to take here and the validation rules are required min length and this is and for email required valid email is a rule but one more i am writing here is in a queue users dot email users is our table in this there is a column called email i mean is in a queue rule is going to check whether the email id is in a queue or not if a duplicate entry is trying to insert it is going to throw an error and one more thing password is required min length 6 max length is going to be 16 and we have for confirm password matching we have a rule called matches rule just pass and mobile number exact length and 10 and it should be numeric these are the rules we defined now i have to validate the rules to validate the rules we have to define let us not define we have to pass this rules array associated array to a method we have to go to validate method with the parameter called rules now i am passing what are the rules you have applied here if these rules are valid this validate method is going to return true if it is true we have to save the data let me write a simple message called simply save data i am writing a message save data if these are not valid some errors are there we have to render the errors into the view let us render the errors into the view take a data of associative array so here i am passing the, this of validator this validator object is holding the rules the sorry the errors now let us pass this as a validation you can take any variable in place of it but initially we have to pass this is i'm passing this to data view but initially what you have to do at the time of form loading we have to take an array data equal to an empty array right so now you can check it now so validation rules are applied if the rules are valid we will get this message if the rules are not valid the error message we have to display how we can pass the data to a view in the same manner i'm passing error messages also in the form of validator object now we have to get these errors in the view and we have to display them so go to your view and try to display the error messages on just above the form to display all the error messages here i'm just going to write one condition if is set always we have to check whether we have data or not dollar validation so if validation rules are there we have to get the rules and we have to define them this is going to be end if so now i am going to print all the errors guys here we have a function to display all the errors that is nothing but list errors validation of there is a method call to list all the errors 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 is a method now let me check it whether we are displaying the error messages or not go to your registration form and just submit the form load and submit the form let us see are we getting error messages yes we are getting all the error messages if you want to display error messages individually 
so we can also yes the in the early session we seen how to display error messages individually we written a custom function in our form helper let us use that function how can we right we are displaying all the errors on the top of the page i don't want to display all the errors on the top of the page now i want to display an individual error message to do this we have a function earlier we created in the form helpers you can check this helper this is the form helper in this form helper we created a function called display error right now i am going to write this display error function but in the view so go to your view there we can write the register view just in the bottom of our input field i am taking a span span tag with a class equal to text danger class equal to text danger to display the message in red color here we have to apply the function what is the function we have display error function d i s p l a y display error is a function it has two parameters one is validation and one more is the name of the input field the field name is going to be username what is the text box name the same value we have to take in here but let me apply this but initially we get error i believe so why because initially we are not passing validation to the view at the at the time of submitting the form we are passing if you have any error then only we are passing this validation do one thing initially we don't have any validations in the form at the time of page loading let me do one thing the data of validation equal to null initially i am passing null to the uh, view now just refresh it we don't have any error now you can submit those the error is going to be coming like this this username field is required so i applied a class text danger let me check it text d a n g e r i think it is not applied we have to check it what is the class for this and all yes here we have a spell mistake c l a s s class now you can check it now it is going to be displayed a message in the red color repeat the same for each and every text box now username field is required and we can write small tag otherwise uh, the message is going to be displayed into small letters small in the sense uh, font size in the terms of okay guys now i need to display error message individual to each and every field now i am going to this right this is going to be email one more field i have here this is going to be pass name of the input field is going to be pass and this is going to be c pass and finally we have something called mobile so now we can see the individual error messages for every text box this is how we can display the individual error messages now just refresh the page and submit the form now you can see all the individual error messages for each and every field guys anyhow we have to repopulate the form data also i am entering some data okay perfect you, you can enter some data but if i submit this what is going to happen the data was escaping so now we have to keep the data into the username field so to do this we can use the set value so there is a method called set value so here i am going to write the set value method to repopulate the value this is going to be set value of the input field input full name is going to be username the same i am going to repeat for each and every text box value attribute this is nothing but once the form is submitted the whatever the value you entered if it is a valid it has to be in the form otherwise if you are not setting like this the value is going to be escape we have to enter one more time so it is going to be button so now this is going to be pass and next one is going to be c pass for password i am not i don't want to set the value if anything wrong you have to enter the password again if you want you can set it no problem so let me remove this for password i don't want this option value attribute for password you have to enter for mobile i am taking so if you want you can take them otherwise you can leave it now okay guys form is ready and data is also validated now we have to collect the data guys now can you see now i am going to enter some data now you may get some error let us enter some data here i am entering some data let us enter the password 1234561234567 such a manner enter valid data 123456 and this is going to be some mobile number but unfortunately i don't have any table so this is some email id i entered here let me submit it you may have some error what is this error in ci4 database we don't have users table right it has to check unique right so that's why it is giving you some error let us go to your users table and uh, sorry ci4 database and create some table inside of it go to ci4 do you have any table created we didn't create any table for this let us go for the users table 
users table number of columns how many fields of data you are entering in the registration form so one is username email password mobile confirm password is not required to save four fields okay with these four fields form fields one is id i want to generate one more unique uid for you this is for your transactions purposes i can use here i am going to generate this new id and date one important date of join or created at something let us do something like created at at what time you created your account and one more thing i want to store your status by default status is going to be inactive so when it will be become active if you can click the activation link then the status is going to be active guys right so these are the fields i am making here and you can take one more field called profile underscore pick so we will use the profile pick or author nothing but so initially in the registration form you are not entering but when you are logged into the application there we can upload your profile pick that's the reason i'm maintaining one more field extra so totally four plus five so total nine fields with nine fields i'm going to create a table if anything required we can create in the middle guys let us see and go to database and let us create the data into table guys so with the how many fields we are creating so totally nine fields we have in the count let us create the table with nine fields guys right so this is going to be an id id is going to be auto increment let us go with the auto increment constraint and it will be automatically primary key if you can select like this so a pop-up is going to be loaded wait for some time what happened yeah so it is going to be primary so now once the primary is done completed now we have to add the remaining columns guys username username is going to be varchar of length 100 so this is going to be email of varchar of length 200 i am giving but here it is having a constraint guys the constraint is going to be inequ constraint always try to provide a constraint called inequ so it does not allow duplicate values so this is going to be inequ done now the next thing is going to be password i am going to take the varchar of length 100 and you can use next one is going to be mobile mobile is also i'm taking varchar of length 20 or 10 exactly we are taking 10 right exactly 10 okay no problem and uh, okay this is the form field data confirm password is not required why both are same right password value confirm password both values same you i don't want to make them and i want to take profile pick p r o f i l e profile underscore pick so it is going to be varchar of length 250 and I'm just going to save the name of the file only. I'm not going to save the image into the database. Here, one more field is going to be date created at. The column name is going to be created at. This is going to be var sorry, not varchar. Always try to provide date time. So date time and default time I'm setting here current timestamp, right? And one more thing is going to be status. What is the status of your by default your status is going to be inactive let me do one thing by default value as defined i am giving you something called inactive your status is inactive by default when it will be active if you can click the activation link then i will make it as a active guys what is the final column we have in the field list profile pic status inactive created at uni id i want to generate an uni id also for you uniid so let us make it as a varchar of length 32 right this is done you can take any uni id no problem right i'm submitting this uh it is better to add one more column this is status so by default inactive but i want to do one uh, one action here expiration link so i will send an activation link to you within one hour if you can click that link so i will allow you otherwise i will show you account expired sorry activation link was expired such a message i want to display guys for this let me use one more field called date field so activation activation underscore date this is also going to be date time it's a good practice guys so we can restrict the users within one hour within one day if they click yes we can so this is just going to be date time that's it guys i'm saving it activation date so update sometimes you may not activate after that you are going to ask recent uh recent activation link then i will update this again 
so again one more hour so this is how we are going to create the table yes our table is ready and data we have to do go for data right now let us go to your controller and let us get the data of the form go there and once everything is okay now we will be here so earlier we have error database is not there we created now let us get the data guys dollar user data equal to it's an associate array with the table column names username id is not required right how can we get the data dollar this of request of get where dollar this of request of there is a method called get where method by using this get where method we can read the data so here just pass the name of the input field this is going to be username this is table column name this is the name of the input field right don't get confused here right i want to sanitize the string for this i am using filter sanitize string such a such a filter i am applying this is going to uh, remove the html tags is there any special characters that is going to remove guys there is a filter sanitize string right after that i want to add email one more column this is going to be email dollar this of same request of get where of email if you want you can use filter sanitize email also but uh, already we are uh, validating email id right we don't want required if you want you can add it no problem just i added for username right in the same manner now i need to validate password sorry we have to add the password as well as mobile other fields this is going to be username completed now this is going to be password so name of the password is going to be pass p a s s this is the name of the input field but this password should be encrypted we are sending the password directly whatever the password you are entering that password will be saved like this if you can enter but let me use a method called password underscore hash is a predefined method in our php to this whatever the password you have enter the password and the second parameter is going to be the algorithm so what is the algorithm you want to apply on this password to hash it i am going to use the default that is nothing but password underscore default is a predefined thing so now it is going to be encrypted and it will be saved into the database for quickly guys now this is next one is going to be mobile this of mobile this is going to be mobile and finally what is the we have so we have to uh, status is not required and the current date time is not required so one minute go to your table so this is the structure we have we have to generate uni id and we have to add profile pic done activation date these two i need to generate these two are going to be inserted automatically status inactive by default profile pic is not right now and created it so it is going to be current time step let us generate the uni id so we didn't write any uni id right let me do one thing dollar uniid unique uid for some transaction purpose actually we have auto incremented id we can send that to also but i don't want to reveal that id i want to use some different uh, id now, or else you can write token also whatever it may be right i am going to generate this str underscore shuffle in this shuffle i am going to pass dollar uh, some strings you can pass here a b c d e f g h i j k this is the thing now i am passing current time also yeah this is the thing guys this i want to apply md5 method if you can apply md5 method then it is going to be converted into a 32 bit all for numeric string this is the uni id let me apply the uni id here u n i id so this is going to be your u n i id dollar u n i id and one more thing is here activation date we have to copy this activation date also let us pass the activation date is nothing but a current date time this is going to be updated each and every time whenever you are requesting this is going to be date function i am going to take this as a y m d h i s so we have to save like this guys your data is ready now once data is ready we have to send this data to model and we have to insert the data there right and let us see how we can insert the data and uh, let us load a model do we have any model right now for registration form we don't have go to models library and try to create one model the model name is nothing but register model let us create a model class 
the name of the class is going to be register model dot php yes here so each and every model should extends with model class right use app slash sorry one minute we can write model automatically it will come extends model this is the namespace we have codeigniter slash model right and go there let us use this library use codeigniter slash model and this is namespace is not required here just remove this this is perfect now now we have to define a method guys let us define a method inside of it based on the method we have to get the data let us go with the method public function create user this is the function i am going to use this function expects a parameter that is nothing but the data parameter from our controller so this is an associative array this is going to be inside the data into database by using query builder class right let us go and uh, pass first of all we have to load the model here and go to top of the page and try to load the model use slash app slash models slash the name of the model just now we create a register model this is the register model if you want to work with register model we have to create the object so let us define a variable public dollar register model is a variable so let us create the object for this dollar this of register model equal to new register model this is the object i am going to create r e g i s t r register model yes register model object is created so now we can easily access the register model methods right by using this object why i am writing in the constructor if you write something in the constructor that is going to be available in each and every of your method so tomorrow we can write one more method not only index method we are write one more method there we can use it guys now this data i have to pass to register model in this register model there is a method what is the method there create user is a method can you see session is coming and pass the user data dollar user data is a variable yes we are passing this now what is the thing so now we have to go to your model and we have to insert the data your data was sent to model in the model we have to insert the data and in this we have to use a query builder class let us use the query builder class and let us insert the data guys here how we how we can insert the data into it so first of all dollar this of db i am not loading db service because this of db we can access directly guys why this of db we can access directly this of db is available already in the model library so we don't want to access it each and every time does not required in the early session we include the database service now it is not required if you want to can include database service but anyhow this of db this is going to available database connection this was defined in the model class and we don't want to load db service not required here so that are this of db of table i'm using query builder class that's why we have to go with table so table name what is the table name we have users table this is the users table is ready now so this is going to be b u i l d r builder object builder class i'm just assigning this a variable right based on this now we have to insert the data the builder of insert is a method is there and to this method we have to pass the data that r e s equal to that is b u i l e r builder of there is a method called insert method i n s e r t insert method to this insert method we have to pass the data guys just pass the data of data variable this is going to be dollar data variable now what it will do this will insert the data guys once the records are inserted we have to display a message that is either true or false right how do we know we have a method affected rows like this of db of affected rows this is the method we have a f e f e affected rows r o w s is a method guys this is going to return the total number of rows if the record is inserted otherwise it is not it is going to be written minus 1 guys now i am writing one condition like this if equal to equal to 1 if one record inserted it is going to be written true if this is not inserts a record it is going to be written false simply i am writing a message like this done your data is going to be inserted now right so once inserted we are getting the success message right so that uh, that is going to be true or false now let me take a variable into status this status is going to be true if the record inserted otherwise it will be false guys otherwise without having this variable directly we can write this model into the function if 
we can write the function like this guys this is the message we are going to display if record inserted we have to send an email right if record not inserted some problem may be then we have to write a message here sorry unable to create an account try again right if the record inserted okay let us do one thing here i have to work with session library so you can do one thing you can load the session also here because i want to set the temp data to redirect a page or else you can set the flash data also public session dollar this of session equal to here we have to call the session service dollar this of session equal to config of services of slash sorry config of services of session this is the library we have to write now session is available based on this session variable we have to set a temporary data in the error message and i am redirecting to same page that is this of session of set temp data this is the message here we are going to set the key and value key is going to be error and the message is going to be sorry unable to create an account an account try again now we can display a some uh, time here i'm just going to display the 3 seconds i mean the expiration message will be available there for 3 seconds immediately we have to redirect to same page to redirect to same page i am writing return redirect redirect is a method in this we are going to write the two and this two method we have to pass the parameter where you want to go i want to go to the current page only so it is going to be current url right so now we have to handle it guys wait for some time we will handle all the error messages at a time if the record inserted we have to send an email activation link this is the important thing guys right let us do the two address here the two equal to dollar email sorry we have to get the email right so get this email so directly i am going to get this email this is the two address and next one is going to be subject 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 equal to account activation account activation link your company name i am writing something called gophp this is done now next thing is going to be subject what is this uh, sorry message we have to define the message body message body is going to be hi the name of the user who is the username and this is the name of the user we have to get it guys here i'm just getting the name of the user hi just space just concatenate here this is the name of the user comma break tag so in the next line hi ram break tag next line we are going to display some message guys what is the message thanks i'm writing a message ever account created successfully success fully please click the below link below below link to activate your account to activate your account this is what we are doing guys right so below link in the sense in the next tab this is going to be so i need to display an anchor tag here a href this is going to be activate now activate now so once the user click this link in the his email he has to come to our same page right do one thing here let us write our uh, url this is going to be base url base url so he has to come to our controller register slash activate there is a method called activate method we are going to create it now activate method once the user click it he will come to register is our controller there is a method called activate method but he is coming to your activate method but who is that person we have to identify the person so many people will create an account but who is clicking the activation link we have to identify for this i am passing the uni id here so this is my track dollar uni id if uni id is not there how can we identify who clicked the activation button and whose account needs to be activated that's why i am doing like this guys i'm just passing the activation link that activation link expiration time is 1 hour if it is more than 1 hour we are not going to allow to activate the account we are asking him 
to resend the activation link right so this is the message and finally here we can write break tag open close thanks and the team dollar t e a m t you can write break tag one more break tag and some theme or go php you can write no problem right so done guys now your message body is ready now we have to work with the email service right let us see how can we work with the email service we already worked on earlier already what are the functions you have just copy the functions and add it here and it is going to send the email i already did smtp configuration in the earlier session so we have a config file uh, config folder we have uh, app config folder we have email.php there we did the configuration we don't want to do the configuration one more time guys let us go and let us get that mail functions guys we implemented earlier so guys this is the mail function we implemented earlier let us copy the test mail here let us go there and let us keep this guys that's it your mail function is ready now but all the parameters are going to be valid like this can you see these are the parameters we have yes but this email service it's better to okay we loaded here because we are uh, we are going to use only one time right or if you want required multiple times maybe it may require let us do one thing define public email just go to the top of the page and define public email here public dollar email dollar this of email equal to here dollar this of email equal to the email service we are going to call like this guys so it may help us to load this in multiple places if we can do like this right now this is available for us this of email and go to the bottom of the page and wherever you have email email you can make it this of email right we copy pasted right this of email this is how we can access guys here this of email and this of email Okay, guys. Now I updated each and every place. This of email, this of email. Here for this anchor tag, let me add an attribute target equal to underscore blank. It will open a new window. Underscore b l a n k blank. So everything is updated. Two address. This is going to be info, right? Subject and message. This is the message body we prepared just now. And uh, attach. We are attaching the logo of our company. And this is send email. And if this mail sends, this is going to return true. but if it is written true here i just want to display a message by saying that account created successfully please activate your account so i need to redirect to the same page by creating the temporary session let us do one thing right so temporary session is done here and this is the message we have to display into it but this is going to be a success message let us display this as a success and this is going to be s u c c e s s success and redirect to same page echo is not required here right so if any error we have to display that error messages also this is going to be display all the errors guys whatever the errors we have it is going to display the errors let it be or else you can do one thing if you don't want to display errors sorry unable to send an activation link this is print a debugger i'm not deleting just i'm keeping comment later we will understand whether if email is not sent what is the reason we have to know right that's why i'm just keeping it right it is going to throw an error this is going to be an error so here account created successfully but i need to do one small thing guys here account created successfully but the message is going to be sorry unable to send oh my god wait for a minute now sorry uh, please con sorry unable to send activation link unable to unable to send activation link right we can display one more message contact admin such a manner we can display right so it is going to be redirect to same page now we have to display the success message and error message into your view right and go to your view and display the success messages again in the view we have to create this uh, session right local session let us go to the top of the page and i am going to create the session page session dollar page underscore session you can take any variable here equal to slash config of session services sorry services of session just i am going to access the session right now we have to access the temporary data 
just above my form I am going to add the temporary data if dollar page session of get temporary data in this we have to pass the key success if this is there and we have to display the message this is going to be end if right now close php open php so here inside of it we can print the message in a success div let us have a success div here div class equal to so alert alert success yes ucccss alert success is the class and here we are going to display that success message if the account is created the success message will be available here that are this of sorry page session right we have to take something called page underscore session of get a temp data just i'm going to print it get temp data right print the success message if that is there s u c c e s s in the same manner we have to access the error message also let us copy the same and let us print it the success message also this is this is success earlier is success now this is going to be error so if the account created okay if not created error message will be there and this is going to be alert danger let us give the danger class now all done i think let me check my view whether it is getting any errors or not we don't have any errors now let me submit the data in this we don't have anything so can you see now uh, we don't have any data in the table we already configured smtp guys now try to enter a valid working mail id it is good practice so why because now this is my working mail id now password one two three four five six i'm giving you one two three four five six enter some mobile number right now i'm going to submit it if account created it has to send an email activation link to you now let us see it is uh, sending i'm thinking wait for a minute account created successfully please activate your account let me check it in my database whether the data is came properly or not can you see this is my id rom my mail id my password was encrypted and my, my mobile number profile pic is not there right now created it this is the created time just now inactive my status is my this is my uni id this is the activation date i mean the activation link we sent right the date i am talking about right now I need to check my mail ID whether I got an email or not with the activation link. Go to your email. So whatever the email ID I used, let me log in with the email, guys. I'm going to log in with the mail ID. Go to my Gmail and check it. We have to see an activation link if account created successfully. Can you see, guys? In the info, in the updates, I'm getting. If you didn't get any updates, you can check in the spam folder sometimes. Sometimes it will come to inbox directly. Now I'm just going to click on it. Can you see? There is a link, uh, activation link, guys. Can you see? So this is my logo I sent it to. And this is the uh, Hi Ramu. Thanks, your account created successfully. Please click the below link to activate your account. Now I'm going to click on it. Can you see now? It will open a new window. Can you see now? It is opening a new window. It is going to display activate this is the token of you that is nothing but the uni id you have right based on this token now we have to work with it guys now this is active we sent an activation link to you now you clicked on it we have to activate the account by click by getting the uh, token or uni id from the url yes guys this is all about account creation with an activation link in the next session we are going to work with the account activation process once the user click on this activation link how we can activate his account how the database value is this is the value we have that's default value is going to be inactive if the user clicks this link active activate now then this value should be becomes active based on the uni id this is the uni id this is what we are going to do in the next session. Thank you guys. If you have any doubts, please comment on the video section. And don't forget, please subscribe or go PHB channel. Thank you all.